<laughs> hmm. I guess the high pressure calibration was too highly calibrated. And the surface tension of the surfactants caused a bursting effect. <gasps> Or, to put it in scientific terms, the kaflugulator went kaflui again. Not a problem. Bambo, suck up this purple mess. It is what I live for. Oh, can't you guys keep it down? I just got too well to fall asleep. Ooh, bubbles. I want to take a bubble bath, too. Oh, no. Are you up again? Yeah, so are the monsters under my bed. Joelle, sweetie, there are no monsters under your bed. It's scientifically impossible. I give up. I haven't gotten any sleep since I've been babysitting for Little Miss Make-Believe Monster here. But there are monsters. I've seen them. There's Daddy Monster, Mommy Monster, and Debbie Monster. She's the worst of all. <laughs> Well, it's just your imagination. Then why am I scared? There's only one thing to do. We'll scientifically prove that there are no monsters under the bed. Starting sleep repository liftoff. See, Joel, no monsters. Ah, lousy house cleaning. Those are just dust bunnies. <gasps> dust bunnies? Oh. <laughs> What's happening, Toots? Joel, sweetie, they're just little clumps of dust. Yeah, just a wad of hair, dirt, and dead skin cells. Not monsters? Not at all. Then why is Kent doing that? Move along, people. Nothing to see here. Uh, he's allergic to dust. <laughs> and bunnies. Don't forget negligent house cleaning. How do we prove to Joelle that dust bunnies aren't monsters? We could do a scientific analysis for monster DNA. <gasps> Let's shrink ourselves down and explore under Joelle's bed. That's impossible. Not so fast, my young geniuses. That's what they said while I was inventing the electric light bulb. But I didn't fail. I succeeded in finding 10,000 ways that didn't work before I found the one that did. That means we can shrink down and be teeny-weeny, right? What you're talking about is molecular physics. You should talk to Ernest Rutherford. Von Bolt, will you do the honors? It's impossible. Impossible. You really think inventing a shrink ray is impossible, Professor? A shrink ray? I thought you said shrink-resistant underwear. Theoretically, a shrink ray should be possible. After all, an atom is mostly open space. See all that stuff between the electrons? Looks like a lot of space to me. Exactly. My experiments proved that all atomic structure is made up mostly of empty nothing between the nucleus and the electrons. And if you had a shrink ray to get rid of the empty nothing between things, they take up a smaller amount of space. And you know what that would mean? What, Professor? It means I could rent a much smaller apartment. <laughs> we get the idea. Thanks, Professor! We just need to get rid of the space between all of our electrons and the nucleus. Then our atoms get smaller. And we shrink. And we would do that how? With just a simple modification to Von Bolt. Very nice job, JD. Thanks, Mr. Edison. It's an advanced electron microscope that will show us what is happening to our atoms. Watch. Watch. 
I've adjusted Von Bolt's vacuum function to suck all the space from between the atoms. <laughs> well, that's one way to diet. Beginning Operation Shrink Ray. You know what they say. If it isn't posted online, it didn't happen. Photobomb! Now, now, Joelle, we'll send you pictures. It's working! Bon voyage! See, Joelle? No monsters. Let's go. Run! <laughs> Clumps of dust! J.D., dust is mostly little wads of insect parts, human dead skin cells, and hair. Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a minute. Where's Joelle? Here I am. Having a tea party with my new friend. <laughs> and she's not scary at all. I am the worst babysitter ever! Bye, Debbie! Guys, it's only a matter of time before Debbie stops eating stuff in the dust and starts eating us. Debbie would never do that, would you, Debbie? Football! Reverse vacuum! I am watching Dancing Mitt Robots. Can it wait until the commercial? No! Reverse vacuum! Ah! I told them this wasn't a good idea. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Joelle! Come on! Nikki, I'm right here. Then whose hand am I holding? Von Bolt, shrink them down again. Ach, the Gesundheit. Bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. I am getting so confused. Yeah, it is broken. Now they're loose! We have to stop them, whatever they are! Huh. According to the Plasmatron, they're dust mites. The average human sheds one million microscopic skin cells a day. We dead skin cells make up most of the dust in your house and are eaten by microscopic creatures called dust mites. Which reminds me of a very humorous anecdote. It seems a foolish follicle met a clever skin cell and... <laughs> the good news is they don't want to eat people. They just want dead skin cells. <laughs> Goody, let's just get them so they'll be happy. Sorry, honey. Giant skin cells don't exist. That means they'll be hungry. No, sweetie. It means we have to shrink them down to get them back to their natural habitat. Before they destroy our natural habitat! I sure hope no one steps in this wet cement. I sure hope no one knocks over my perfectly balanced fruit of displays. I sure hope no one crashes through this sheet of glass while we're crossing the street. That sure was close. Yeah, really close. <laughs> what a disaster that would have been. No! We'll have to find a way to lure those giants back so we can shrink them. All we'll need is a giant with dandruff. <laughs> Not bad. Any other ideas? We could find some skin cells and enlarge them. Von Bolt, we need your enlarging vacuum ray again. Aren't those beasties big enough? Not them. Enlarge the dust. Yeah. Let's the pointing on the sucking begin. <laughs> Old Lady Dust Mite, who lived in a shoe. After him and Fab. Operation Dust Mite Rescue, Stage One. <laughs> Operation.
Operation Dust Might Rescue, Stage 2, Von Bolt's Shrink Ray. Bye-bye, Debbie and your mommy and daddy. Auf Wiedersehen. Very nice to have met you. Pleasant dreams, Joelle. Nothing to be scared about anymore, right? Right! Good night, Dusty and Mighty. <laughs> Care for more dead skin cells, my dear? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I like the crunchy ones! Yummy! <laughs> Hey, Allie, do you want to see my new pet? I call it Kaflui. He's so cool. Where did you buy him? I didn't buy him. I made him. How? With this cool Thomas Edison Kaflui slime kit. First up, we need to make the guar gum solution. Yes, sir, Rob. We need to put our solution in the jar and leave it to set. Now we need to make our STB solution. I'm going to give it a stir. Now we have everything we need to make Mr. Kaflui. Mr. Kaflui is starting to take shape. That is amazing. Why don't we use the magnet to play around with it? Look how it just sticks to it. Whoa. Look at it go. Do you think I should play a Shakur Mob, guys? Okay, let's see if this works. Ah! What is that? Woo! Ah! Ghost! Ha! <laughs> gotcha! That was sick! Glow in the dark slime from the Kaflui Slime Kit. To get your Thomas Edison Secret Lab Science Kits, go to the Go Retailers nearest you. See you guys!